Hello friends, today we're going to be learning about one of the oldest forms of art called pottery. You're going to be making pinch pots using homemade clay, but typically artists use clay that gets fired in a really hot oven called the kiln. Since we don't have these things at home, we're going to be using what we have. Many artists today use the pottery wheel to make their pots. However, back in the day they didn't have wheels so everything was hand built. Some artists today still make pottery as a form of art and one of the things that stands out with today's pottery compared to ancient civilizations are the decorative and contemporary forms and designs that they put on their pots. Hi friends, Miss Plummer here. Um, today I'm going to be making some salt dough. You are going to need flour, water, and salt and that's it. Um, if you want to add color to it, you can add food coloring. Um, if you want to paint the thing that you make with your dough later, um, you're going to need paint for that. But all you need just to make a basic salt dough is flour, salt, and water. There are other recipes online, um, some that are a little better, but because this is, has the most basic supplies and things you probably have at home, I decided to use this one, so follow along with me. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is make your dough, and you're gonna wanna have something on the table. I use, I'm using parchment paper, just so that I don't get any dough on the table, it doesn't stick, but if you don't have parchment paper, if you just add flour down to where you're working, that should help as well. You are gonna need something to put your clay piece on when you're done, so that way um, it doesn't stick to the table. So I'm gonna start with a bowl. I'm gonna need a cup, a measuring cup. You're gonna start with two cups of white flour. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get my cup filled up. So there's one and there's two. So I have two cups of flour. Now you need to do one cup of salt. So whatever you do in flour, you need to do half of that in salt. All right, so I have my cup of salt with my two cups of flour. I'm gonna pour that in. And then with a spoon, I'm gonna kind of mix this up. Okay, so now that I have my salt and water mixture, I wanna do a cup or salt and flour mixture. I'm gonna do a cup of water. With the water, friends, you really wanna um, just put a little bit in at a time. So I'm just gonna do a couple drops at once, not the whole thing. One of the things I noticed, friends, when I made my salt dough clay was it was very sticky. So maybe instead of doing a cup of water, you can do about two-thirds a cup. Don't use all the water if you don't need it. I'm just going to keep mixing until I have that whole cup mixed in there. And I'm adding a little bit at a time. So go ahead, just do about a quarter of it at a time and mix it. If your dough is looking a little sticky, it's okay to add a little bit of flour. Just don't add too much at once. Now that I have my flour to where it needs to be, the water's all mixed in, I'm going to take it out of the bowl. And what you're going to have to do is knead it for about 10 minutes, okay? And that's going to help all the ingredients form together even more. So I'm going to take the clay in my hands and this is why we have a parchment paper again if you don't have the parchment paper set some a little bit of flour down and i'm going to just squeeze and push out squeeze and push out that is called kneading the funny thing my friends is if you were using real clay you would have to knead to get the air bubbles out of clay but this is just to mix it together if after kneading for a couple minutes you're noticing it stick to you like this just keep adding a teeny bit of flour at a time to that so that it's not so sticky so i'm going to need this for about 10 minutes okay so now that i have my clay all set i'm going to show you how to make a pinch pot there's many different clay projects you can do um, with air dry clay made from home i'm just going to be showing you how to make a pinch pot so what you're going to do first is you want to make this into a ball form so i'm going to roll it in my hand And then I'm also going to squeeze like this. So I'm going to squeeze so that I'm making a ball form squeeze. So I'm doing alternating between that because this rolling it around like this in my hand is going to smooth it out, make it less bumpy, but then squeezing is going to keep it into that ball form. So when I get a good shaped ball, 
this is where you're going to want to use your parchment paper. It makes it so you can rotate the clay without having to move the clay. Because every time I pick this up now, it's going to stretch it. So I'm going to try to avoid picking it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my finger down through the middle of this. I'm still keeping it in my hand for this part because that curve in my hand I'm not using is going to help keep the form. So when I put my thumb in here, I don't want to put it through all the way because I want all sides of this pot to be about half an inch. So I'm going to stop when I have about half an inch left at the bottom. So I'm going to go all the way down and stop. It's better to not go too far because you can always pinch it out later. Now that I have that done, I'm going to just a few times, I'm going to take my thumb and my finger like this and I'm going to pinch around it once very gently. And then I'm going to set it down. Okay. Now I can tell there's some cracking in the edges. If you have a little bit of water, you can just add that to your finger to gently smooth them out. This is just because my clay is a little bit on the drier side, which is fine. So if I just get a little bit of water in my finger, it's going to help smooth that out. You can always make a paste with water and um, flour later and fill it in after it's been dried with that. So I'm going to go in now and rotate this without picking it up. And I'm just going to pinch near the bottom more because now that I've already pinched at the top, I want to pinch at the bottom so that it's about the same width all the way around the pot. What happens if they're not equal is if the bottom and top isn't equal width is that it doesn't dry at the same rate and that causes a lot of cracking. So that's why you want to be really careful with that. So that's looking pretty good. I don't want to over pinch it because I don't want it too thin either. I want about a finger's width all the way around. And when I'm looking at this, I'm seeing perfect. There's a finger's width all the way around. Now what happens when I'm doing this and maybe I stretch it out? You can take the curves of your hand like this and push it back in, okay? I'm going to show you how to do it once again. So I'm going to take this, squeeze ball form, roll it in my hands. And if you have to start with a smaller amount of clay to practice, make like mini pinch pots before you do a bigger one, then do that. So I'm rolling it around. I'm pinching my thumb in but keeping it in the form of my other hand. And I'm going to pinch around. Now I'm putting equal pressure on that thumb when I'm pinching. And then after I've gone around once, I'm placing it on here so there's less stretching. Going around, smoothing out any cracks I have with just a little bit of water. You can even try to wedge a little dough in there. And now I'm gonna go and push a little bit more towards the bottom, but still that bottom has to be half an inch and start to pull out the bottom. And we want, again, it to be equal widths all the way around. If this gets too skinny, let's say I do this. That's really skinny and now this is thick. This is going to dry faster and it's going to cause a separation. This guy won't be dry yet because he drew, he dried a little quicker because he's smaller. Now that's going to cause cracking and that's going to cause a problem. So if you need to, you know, just bring your clay together again and redo it if you make a mistake. After you're done, if you, have, you will have a lot of extra based on the recipe we made. So if you want to make some ornaments or anything like that with your clay, you can. Um, this clay, I would keep it on your parchment paper and let it dry for a good couple of days, okay? Um, you don't want to paint it too early or what's going to happen is it will never fully dry and it will start to get moldy after you've added the paint on. So make sure this is dry. You can put it in your oven. There are some directions online you can find. Set it at a very low temperature and of course you need a parent with you to do that.